In this tutorial, I'll show how Aurora HDR 2019 can remove that ugly greenish or pinkish fringe known as chromatic aberration that appears in some photos. Let's get started. Notice the color fringe around the mountains and the tree in this original image. To remove the color fringe, let's begin by processing a series of bracketed images. With our images selected, let's click the Auto Align button, and then from here, we'll click the gear icon. Check Ghost Reduction and Chromatic Aberration. Now, if we are working with RAW files, we'll have a third option, and that would be Color Denoise. From here, just click the Create HDR button, and Aurora HDR processes the image. This looks great. You know Let's hide the side panel and the Aurora HDR looks panel. Now we have a larger view. Let's zoom in. We can zoom in by clicking the zoom buttons here or by using keyboard shortcut control plus or minus. Notice the color fringe around the tree and the mountain is now gone. This normally does the trick. However, there may be stubborn chromatic aberrations that need a little extra. Don't worry about it, because that step is going to be easy too. Let's show the side panel. And from here, we're going to click the Lens Control button near the top of the Filters Control. And to remove the fringe along the edges, we'll use the Fringe Slider. Sounding off to the left just a touch. That looks good. Now to remove the greenish or the magenta edges, we'll use the Remove CA slider. Now CA stands for Chromatic Aberration, and I'll slide that off to the left. And that looks really good. Click the Done button when finished. Just by using a higher quality lens and or adjusting a few sliders in Aurora, you can ensure your images will be Chromatic Aberration free.